How to import Photoshop files into Premiere. If you want to learn how I utilize .psd files and Premiere Pro to create that sequence you just saw, stick around and let's jump right into it. Here's the Photoshop file that you just saw in the intro. We're going to be importing that into my Premiere sequence right here. Now, I have a lot of tips that I want to give you in this video, and I realize this is a mundane subject. So if you want to stick around for all those tips, bless you, and I love you so much, but I'm going to give you my top two ways to import into Premiere from Photoshop in the beginning, and hopefully if you like those, you'll stick around for the rest. The first way is to right click in the project bin. You could go to import. You could also go up to file, import, you could hit command I on Mac. But the way that I like to do it, just because I have my finder up all the time, is to click and drag the physical file onto your project bin. Now this import as window will pop up. And here's where I will tell you the two ways that I prefer to import. You could do merge all layers or sequence. Preferably, I like to do sequence, which I'll cover here in a second, but merge all layers will treat it as if it were, say, a PNG file. So I'm gonna hit okay. In the project bin, I can click and drag this onto my sequence, and there's the Photoshop file with the video underneath. Again, think of it as a PNG because there's transparency on this file, allowing the background video to come through on that Photoshop file. But there is a big difference between using a Photoshop file and a PNG, and why I highly suggest using PSDs over PNGs is because of this. In your sequence, you could right click, and you could edit in Adobe Photoshop or you could edit original. Either of these is going to bring back up that Photoshop file. So I'm gonna to go to edit original. Let's say for some odd reason, I wanted to change all of my text to green. Oh, that looks lovely. I'm gonna hit save and voila. Now you can't even see the text, but I'm just demonstrating to you the power of using a Photoshop file is that you can go back and you can change everything in the Photoshop file. And then every single time you save a change in Photoshop, it will update in Premiere Pro as opposed to .png files where you would have to export one every single time if you needed to make a change. So use .psds instead of PNGs, in my opinion. Now let me show you the way that I prefer to import my Photoshop files because I like the manipulation of being able to animate all of my different layers from my Photoshop file in Premiere Pro. Before I import into Premiere, I wanna do a little pre-planning and make sure that the hierarchy of my layers is set to how I want them to animate in or how I'm going to be manipulating them in Premiere Pro. Maybe I want all of my words to be down here below and I want all of my icons to be up here at the top. So it's gonna read how to import Photoshop files into Premiere. One pro tip to building a title like this in Photoshop that's going to fit exactly how you want it to in Premiere is to grab a still frame from Premiere first and drag that into Photoshop. So using this little export frame icon, if it's not there, just go to this plus button and then drag the camera onto your bar right here. You can move your playhead to wherever you wanna take your still frame. Hit export frame. I like to do JPEG and you could hit browse, save it to wherever you want to, hit okay. And then all you would need to do is click and drag that still that you exported onto the Photoshop icon. And now by working off a still frame exported from Premiere Pro, you're gonna be doing two things. The first is that the canvas size of your Photoshop file is going to match the exact dimensions of your sequence settings here in Premiere Pro. And two, you're gonna have a reference of how to frame your title on screen. Now that I have my layers stacked how I want them in Premiere Pro with the right dimensions, I'm going to undo my eyeball here on the bottom layer because I don't need that reference anymore. Go back to Premiere Pro and import my Photoshop file, click sequence, and now we have the option to click and choose what layers I want to bring into Premiere Pro. One thing I wanna point out is notice how this bottom layer is not checked right off the bat because in Photoshop, I did not have the eyeball selected right here on this layer. There are two more options that are available to you with sequence. It's footage dimensions by document size and layer size. So I'm gonna do document size first to show you what that looks like and then I'll do layer size. After importing by sequence and document size, you're left with a folder right here that's the title of your Photoshop document and you have access to each individual layer but you also get a sequence with the layers stacked right here, according to how your hierarchy was in Photoshop. Now, all I have to do is highlight them all, click and drag them onto the sequence that I want them to be on. I'm gonna move them over. Before I show you how I animate these titles in like I did in the intro, let me show you what happens if you import via 
layer size. So here in sequence, now instead of document size, I'm going to do layer size, hit okay, go click on my layer. As you can see, when you import via layer size, it looks nothing like how you built your title in Photoshop, but there's a reason for this. And it has to do with the anchor point. I'm just going to show you the red arrow here. For example, if I were to click on the motion controls, notice how I can scale up and down from the center of the arrow. If I were to go to my file that was imported via document size, if I go to over to motion, now the anchor point for this arrow is in the center of the frame, meaning that if I were to scale, it's scaling to that center point. That's because the arrow is referencing the center of the document or your Photoshop file. Just to recap, the beauty of importing via layer sizes is that you get manipulation of your layers from the center of the layer. And if you were to do it via document, everything is referencing from the center of the document. In most examples, I think you're probably going to be importing via document size. And also because you've imported this via document size, all of your titles are in the right place. And if you wanted to animate them in, let me show you how you would do that. I can go through each layer and animate it on how I'd see fit. With this example, I animate it on when I say the specific words. How to import Photoshop files into Premiere. On my how to, I want that to come in from the left of the frame. So I'm going to hit shift five to bring up my effects controls. A couple frames in, hit position on the stopwatch here, go over to the beginning of the frame and take this keyframe and nudge my title off frame. Now, if I were to hit play, it <laughs> comes in really slow, but I just needed reference of how that would look. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, maybe make it a little bit faster. But the key here is to make that a non-linear movement because linear is boring in Premiere Pro. You want that temporal interpolation. Let me show you what I mean. There's linear. If you were to right click, go to temporal interpolation, do ease out, meaning that it's going to ease out of its first position and then click on your second keyframe, right click, temporal interpolation, do ease in, meaning that it's going to ease into that position. Notice how it goes, now it's easing into its position. To take this a step further, you would wanna click on this little arrow to the left of the stopwatch and grab the handle right here on your outer keyframe and make your hill look like this. Now what it's going to do is ease into position even smoother. So it'd go, you see that? So as you can see, that process could get a little tedious if you wanted to do that for every single one of these layers. Lucky for you though, I've made my smooth animation preset pack available for you in the description below for this exact reason. I utilize this workflow of Photoshop titling all the time and I design my smooth movement preset pack to make this as quick as possible. All you have to do is hit shift seven to bring up your effects panel type in smooth, and here are all of my presets. And we can have all of our titles come in or out of frame from the bottom, left, right, top, or we can hit smooth scale it in or smooth scale it out. Let me make this bigger and move my playhead over here to where I can see all of my titles on screen. The word import, I'm going to smooth in from top, just drop that straight onto the track. How to import comes in off the top. I didn't have to do any of that tedious keyframing. All I had to do was click and drag my preset onto the title. Let me do the rest of these really quick. Photoshop, I'll smooth in from the left. Files into, I'll smooth in from the left. Uh, the word Premiere, I will smooth in from bottom. The Photoshop, I'll smooth in from the left. Uh, the red arrow, I'll smooth in from the left. And the Premiere file, I will smooth in from bottom. So now within 15 seconds, I've created something like this. Really cool, right? And it gets even better. Let's animate them out. I want to stagger these a little bit on the way out, the same way that I had them come in staggered. For how to, I'm going to drop in smooth out to left. Import will smooth out to top. Another cool thing you could do is highlight more than one. And I'm just going to do smooth out to left and drop that onto all of them at one time. Now on the outro, it looks something like this. I think that's super cool. I'm really proud of what I built and I think it can help you out so much and speed up your workflow if you title your stuff in Photoshop like I've shown you, move it over to Premiere Pro. Again, I'll link to that preset pack in my description below. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, those were my two top ways of how to import Photoshop files into Premiere Pro. There are two more and if you've liked the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. On the import window, we've covered import as merge all layers, 
sequence, the differences between document size and layer size when you are importing a sequence. And now let's go ahead and look at merged layers. So with merged layers, it's much like merge all layers, except now you can pick and choose what layers you want to import into one single layer in Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna hit okay. Again, it's one file in your bin. You pull this down. As you can see, this has some things missing in the file, but that's because I unchecked those. So it will import what you want on this file. One thing to bring up with this type of import on merged layers is if I were to change any of these layers that weren't showing, nothing would happen here on Premiere Pro. So if I were to make another layer that says, hello, bring that in, hit save, the hello does not pop up on my screen. It's only looking at those specific layers from Photoshop that I imported. The last type of way of importing is individual layers. Now with this, it's much like how you would import a sequence, except it doesn't give you the sequence. It just gives you individual layers. So you can pick and choose what you want to put in there. I'm just gonna hit okay on all this. And I imported it with document size. If you would have imported with layer size, it would have put the anchor point and everything in the middle. But again, if you wanted to bring all of these layers onto Premiere, you would have to drag them on and then stack them manually, as opposed to if you were importing by sequence and just moving them over. So that's why I recommend importing by sequence as opposed to individual layers in most circumstances. Obviously, there's gonna be something different for each person. So there you have it, a plethora of ways of how to import Photoshop files into Premiere Pro. If this is your first time here and you like the way that I teach things, my name's Javier Mercedes and I like to do video tech tutorials on this channel as well as video gear reviews. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of that and me. Until next video, I hope you guys are out there living a life of abundance. Bye.